Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, welcome. As you can see, I'm catching the light after um, it's afternoon here. Um, but I do still have a little light, so I wanted to try to catch up on filming some um, haul stuff. Um, most of it from Peachy Cheap, but some of it from other places. Um, let's see, that'll be good to see. So, um, the first thing, some of these are go a while back, um, is I had gotten the Simple Stories DIY Christmas kit, and, um, I think it's to make, like, a, like, banners and stuff, but, and other stuff, but I think I'm gonna try to use it to make a December daily, but I'm not sure. I tried to start an October daily, and it's been a huge, um, failure on my part, so, um, I don't know. I'm not going to put pressure on myself to do it. Oh, hold on. I got stuff falling here. Um, so I love these brads so much. I love brads, even though I tend to hoard them and not use them. Um, but I think they're so cute and I love the one that says, hello, Santa. And then this, I think is like, this is definitely to make a banner. This is an actual bunting kit. Um, but I figure even if I don't do that, which I probably won't do that, um, Oh, God, sorry, that, like, half sun is so horrible. Um, it will still come in handy um, for other purposes. And so then I'm also a sucker for paper pads. Um, I love this. This is a 6x6 six six pad. I wonder how many papers are in it. Oh, 24 double-sided papers. I'm sorry, the sun is really, like, horrible how it's, like, half and half. Oh, it doesn't show on the back. I didn't cut it open, but you get an idea of the designs that are on here. It all coordinates, and I'm kind of like a sucker for kits now. And then this says DIY, DIY frameables, and I'm not exactly sure what frameables are. I guess they're supposed to make like wall art, um, but once again, I figured this could be good for December daily, or who knows, maybe I'll frame some and make some wall art. So I'm going to pause this and put this one aside and get the next one ready, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the next thing is I got these die cut packs. I'm trying to figure out if it in the sun is better or in the shadow is better. These die cut packs um from Snap Simple Stories. Um and there's different seasons. This one is a Christmas one. Um I might actually start using oh no, this one is the all year round one. I'm so sorry, I just had the Christmas one up front. Look how cute. Look at that owl. Look how cute some of these are. That's right, this one is the all year round one. This one is more Christmassy. Um, I just bought a Simple Stories planner. I think I'm going to use it next year um, for a planner, but I don't know because I also think I just want to buy a little one of those smaller binders in the refill paper from Target and just do that. Um, I'm sorry, I keep saying that it's Christmas and it's not. I don't know why I keep saying that. This one is more like family. I know there's a Christmas one. Okay, here we go. This is actually the Christmas one. Look how cute that little reindeer is. I think, honestly, this is what sold me on this whole deal, because um, he's just so cute. Um, so anyway, these would also work, I think, if I bought the insert, the plastic insert pages for the planner, but I, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. So this is a back-to-school set, which I figure would be good um, for stuff with my niece, and there's some other stuff that would work for other purposes very few like the glasses and stuff but anyway so that is that one from um snap simple stories and then i got this huge sticker um thing from jelly bean soup are they all yeah they're all jelly bean soup and um they have alphas and then they have like themed stickers that go with the alphas so this is kind of like um, a spring slash garden theme. And then this one is kind of like a spring theme. Just the colors. I really like these colors together. And these are really good. I'm not sure if they call this a planner sticker haul or not. Or haul. The deal. I'm sorry. I got the word haul on my brain now that I'm finally filming all this. This one's kind of cool. It's like family. I mean, a lot of these definitely look like planner stickers, but also could be used for scrapbooking. 
And then this, I like these all, obviously. I wouldn't have really got it if I didn't like them. Well, sometimes I like most of them and not all of them, but this one is, oh, I don't know why it's not focusing all of a sudden. But yeah, I really like that one right there. I like flowers. This one is a Christmas one, which is good. I'm having a debate right now how I want to store my stuff, whether I want to store it um, by theme or by item. Like, do I want to store all my washi together, all my papers together, all my stickers together? Or do I want to store, like, all my Halloween, all my Christmas, all my whatever? So, if you guys wouldn't mind, let me know in the comments below. How do you store your craft stuff? This is, like, a family one. Love this. And I love this one. I think I'm going to end up using a lot of pink with Christmas stuff this year. This one is another Christmas one. Love that. And then this one is like a yearly sort of one. It's got all the um, months here. And then numbers 1 through 12. These are really great. I went on a huge like buying binge almost every single day from peachy cheap for a while and now i've been not buying anything because i just i just can't I, I i just can't i have too much stuff um i just i have too much stuff it's just that plain and simple um which reminds me there will be a flash giveaway coming up um pretty soon probably within the next couple of days but definitely this week uh for me to um this one i really like the yellow and gray um, anyway, I'm sorry to give away, um, some stuff that I've accumulated that's nice stuff, but I've just decided I'm not going to use it, so there'll be a flash giveaway coming up for that, and I'll be right back with some more stuff. Hold on. So, continuing, um, with Peachy Cheap, this is a combination of two different ones. This is, uh, My Mind's Eye Brad's Haul. Like, I think I mentioned earlier, I'm kind of obsessed with Brad's, but I tend to hoard them. So maybe, hopefully, having some more of them will make me use them I, I I don't know um but it came with I think four different colors these ones I really like they're like metallic uh, there's one oh there's a couple more um there's these blues which are really nice these ones I like I kind of wish they had one that was like all black and white um but this is like black and gray I don't really see gray I see brown but um it's still nice and then whole bunch of enamel dots and stickers. Just tons of enamel dots and stickers. I do tend to like to use enamel dots a lot. I think that they're just easy and fun um, way to add dimension and color to a pocket letter. So they came in like different color themes. I love these. They're just they're just all so, so cute. And, like, you see some of them, and they look kind of mushy. Like, the edges didn't quite, I don't know, work out right. But these ones are all really, really great, I think. I like this one. And they do match the brads to some extent, too. So that is that one. And I'm going to pause for one second and be back with one more. Okay, so this last one from Peachy Cheap is a summertime I think from October afternoon kit and oh god the sun is really getting brutal sorry let's try this one in the shade this is um some really pretty floral washi um I love it it's so pretty um it came with this stamp set um catchphrase um and it's got all these sayings which are summery kind of sayings now I noticed that um Peachy Cheap had had like a stamp roller pack a couple times, but I think I just bought a couple of them at Marshall's for probably like less than what it would have ended up costing, especially with the shipping. Um, so keep your eye out for that. Um, so this kind of sold me on this is the Flamingo because I have a friend who loves flamingos. So these are memory cards. I guess they're like journaling cards and they're so cute. I love the Sunday. And I know it's not summer, and that's probably why they had this. Um, but still, the way I ever end up getting around to scrapbooking, who knows, I'll be doing summer in the middle of uh, whenever. So these are some number stickers and some little boxes. And then the rest of these stickers are so, so cute. There's the Sunday again, and some flip-flops, and some label stickers. And 
then again with a Sunday. I just I love these stickers so much. They're so so cute. So that was um from October afternoon. And then the rest of the stuff was sort of like a random assortment of stuff. Oh sorry, my finger. Um this stamp I got from Brutus Monroe. They have a monthly uh stamp club. It's five dollars and that includes the shipping, which is actually a single postage stamp. This fits. It's flexible and it's less than a quarter inch thick. And I guess it must weigh less than an ounce. So this actually fits in a regular envelope. And you get a 2 by 3 photopolymer stamp set every month. And so this first one, I'm so sorry, the sun is so brutal. It says Happy Thanksgiving with a very detailed turkey. So I'm thrilled about that. Um, this I had picked up a while back and never ended up using um, from Joggles.com. It's a Graphic 45 paper pad, um, Rare Oddities. I really like it. I guess I'm going to have to wait till next year to use it now. Um, but anyway, I wanted to get that. This um, next thing I got from an Etsy shop called Pink Tabby Papery. And it's these 4 by 6 They're supposed to be like photo storage envelopes. But I'm not really sure exactly what I'm going to do with them. Um, but I had to get them because they're donuts. And I literally bought every last one that she had. Um... So she made me like a custom order with those and then she threw in some solid color ones. And oh god, I'm so sorry. The sun glare is so bad. I it's feast or famine here. No light or too much light. Um so she threw in some solid colors to round out the set and a few extras. And then just look at this. She look at how she wrapped these. Isn't that not the most gorgeous paper? Like, oh my god, like I I mean I'm a sucker for a pretty wrapping, but I mean this is just like whoa you know this is just like dude that's like a little extreme like oh my god like that's a product in and of itself you know um so the next thing i want to show you is somebody i had found out about on youtube i think through sparkly canadian crafty girl um and that's my style stamps and i think she had a code and oh it doesn't show it on the back and the sun glare is crazy Hold on, I'm going to pause and take this out of the package. Okay, so these are planner stamps from My Style Stamps, and yeah, that is totally not helping at all. So I am so sorry. I am going to end this here because this is just obviously not going to work um, to see these. These are so tiny, and that sun glare is so crazy. So I want to thank everybody so, so much for watching. Um, keep in mind, this is like a culmination of a lot of time stuff I didn't just get this like in the last few days you know I've been kind of holding on to this but yeah I know I'm justifying I still have too much stuff I still do too much shopping um but anyway um thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon on the next video bye